Hey, James G. here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, you can always find us online if you need to at tarpleymusic.com. So I've got this big, beautiful Ruby Red Burst guitar. This is a Taylor C14E B3011. That is the custom name. It is part of the Catch Custom line, basically from Winter Nam. So a uh, beautiful satin finish. This is a Grand Pacific body. You can see this beautiful red. It's got kind of a fade going on, too but still a really great uh, wood grain through this thing. Really, really gorgeous. So uh, this is actually big leaf maple back inside. So it's gonna be able to cut. It's gonna have some brightness to it. Uh, and then the neck itself is a hard rock maple neck. And then uh, it's actually a compound carve neck profile. So if you go and if you're talking about with the, uh, the different uh, Taylor necks, that's that particular profile and it's really just a good standard round C is what it feels like here. So uh, ebony fretboard of course and then the ebony bridge and these uh, bridge pins are actually stained bone pins with red Australian opal dots in them so they're really cool and if the light catches them they'll they'll change on you uh, which is really cool. So uh, mini diamond inlays for this thing and of course uh, it is a V series or V uh, bracing in that series. We've got the good old black Tuscan up with the white Marcata saddle and uh, standard length, 25.5 scale length. And of course, that's the measurement from our nut to our saddle here, your playing area, basically, with the one and three quarter nut width. Now, the tuners are really cool. They've got a really uh, kind of an elegant look because they're smoked nickel uh, and the buttons are smoked nickel too. So I think it's just really cool. It's kind of got a dark, classy uh, look to it there. But this is a really great sounding, bright, very cutting kind of guitar, exactly what it's supposed to do. I think it's a great songwriter strumming guitar or like a rhythm guy who's really playing a lot of percussive parts. Uh, that brightness of the maple really picks up all that articulation. Uh, and of course here we've got the Taylor Expression System 2 in here as well. And remember with this treble in the bass that this is a boost and a cut. So it is active in that sense. And then of course you have your volume a number there. So I think this is a really cool guitar. We're gonna do um, our, our best to really capture kind of the tones here. So we will we'll do some direct so you can hear the expression system. And then of course we'll do some miking and we'll also do some combinations of both of those so you can get an idea of what it can sound like.
All right, so we've heard the guitar on its own, mic'd and direct. So let's hear what it sounds like in a mix with some other instruments. All right, let's hit it, boys. <laughs> Takeaway on this guitar, of course, uh, without saying, it's gorgeous, right? Absolutely. It's a really big, beautiful uh, body style. Um, and, of course, the purfling and the rosette and all this stuff is really, really killer looking. It's it's hair and bone-ish, but it's really a, it's more of a square kind of a uh, based uh, b binding. But it, I really like it. Um, and, you know, this is... This is kind of what one of the things you get with maple is it's very articulate and it's going to give you a lot of high end. But like for me, I really I really had to fight a little bit to pull a lot of those notes out with my weak little silly hands. But, um, you know, the right guy with the bigger, bigger hand, uh, stronger left hand, probably get even a fuller, uh, more articulate sound out of it. So um, having said that, when I really could, you know, feel comfortable and I, you know, I really like the sound of it. It, it'll cut through, I think, really, really well, but that's what you get with maple. So the beauty of this thing is uh, all these different types and guitars uh, and sounds for a reason, right? So, you know, it, if you're going to have something in your arsenal of, of musical weaponry, then you probably, if you have a lot of acoustics, you're probably going to have something that is... Uh, mostly, if not all, maple for that reason, uh, especially in a recording situation. You really may just want to hear those sparkling highs cut through. It's a beautiful guitar for that, you know. Uh, but like I said, you know, some guitars I'm going to have to fight just because of the way I play, and some guitars that are easier for me, other people would fight. That's just how they uh, are designed, and to me, that's the beauty of that whole thing. But having said that, of course, it's, it sounds great when it's, when it's, when it's on point. Uh, this red is just gorgeous. This uh, this is just a beautiful work of art. They did a really great job, um, you know, as they always do on this kind of stuff. So very pretty, very uh, very articulate. Uh, really responds to uh, notes and mistakes. <laughs> so <laughs> those mistakes will fly out too, but that's fine. Uh, no big deal. I just I want to give a very fair, uh, uh, you know, representation of this guitar, and so I I did. But once again, you really need to come down and play it for yourself, especially very left-handed people who really dig in. This would be a guitar to look at because you can really get some really good articulate sound out of that, and each note's really going to come through as opposed to being, you know, real muddy. Uh, it's not going to have that problem. So it might be the guitar for you. Uh, it's the beauty of this whole thing. And if you like red, this could be a guitar for you as well because it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous red. Uh, just love it. So um, the red that's coming out of my fingers matches it. A little bit. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not bleeding. Um, but it is. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Sounds great. Uh, I really like, um, from what I could tell with the earbuds and stuff, is I really like the combination of uh, the SD7s and the Direct just because I felt like it gave me a little bit more of that rounder sound, but with the Direct really cutting through. So uh, we'll see when it's all said and done, but that's kind of what I heard from the ears at this standpoint. So, hey, I hope you uh, enjoyed listening to guitar, looking at it, and I hope you learned something from this. It's always a bonus when you learn something from the video, so just give me a, a like there and a thumbs up. And, of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should subscribe to the channel. Um, just hit subscribe there and join us. And then if, if you'd like to know, we can definitely notify you as we drop more videos because we are constantly dropping videos. And uh, you just turn on the no notifications button right there, and we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.